Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. Good morning. It is Saturday. Ooh, this place is hopping. Can you guys even hear me? <laughs> this is when it's half price for four color tags for anybody. And I'm meeting a local reseller friend. So this is the first time meeting her. We've talked a lot, but this is the first time meeting her um, to go thrifting. So say hi to Lori. Look how cute she is. She sells on eBay too. So let me point the mic toward her. There's they're talking to us on the overcom <laughs> so there's Laurie and Hi. I'm so happy to finally meet her and guess what you guys are gonna be happy she has gotten the green apple glass because it's half price now and she found something else good too and it's pretty heavy oh yes so this is pretty, quality pretty vintage. vintage so let me put that back in our cart <laughs> and so even though it's not on the half price sale that's a good price she knows that <laughs> Okay, you guys, we're gonna get at it. We'll pop in every once in a while and show you what we find. But, you know, this is the one that's a little more expensive and it is hopping today, but we're gonna see if we can find anything. But then we're going down to New Horizons. So we will also do that. So hang with us, okay? That's the best thrift store ever. I don't, I don't love to do bells at ah, $4.99. That's a pretty one though, isn't it, you guys? That's a pretty one though. We're kind of anxious to get down to New Horizons where prices are really awesome but I am gonna get this it's one of those handmade things out of that plastic grid Lori and I both agree and look it's only a dollar 29 that's what 80s 90s early 90s kitschy cool that Southwest I shouldn't say kitschy because look they did an awesome job look how tight they did that one of y'all wants that right okay I'll let you guys look a little bit but it's starting to get busy already you guys know how I feel about these. Generally, they're just beginner projects. They're cute, but it's just a piece of glass slumped over a mold in a kiln. So unless it's really super cool and cheap, I usually leave them, but they do sell pretty well at the booth if I can get them at a good price. You guys can hear how loud it's getting, right? We got here fairly early. I had a flu get few glitches but I made it here like at 9 10 um, let me spotlight this I think this was something one of you all were asking about if anybody else knew I think it was was it Kristen Risling here here's a sh if this is the one here sweetie here's a shot of it so people can help you identify it or let me put it someplace clear and you can take a screenshot there you go, holding for you to get a screenshot um, if you want to see if you can reverse image it. Okay, moving on. You want to pull some out? Okay, Lori's making me so happy because there's some things that I wanted to buy that are so cool, but I'm like, mm, it's, I don't know, if, you know, if it's worth it flipping wise. And it's these horses. I could tell the other day they were something special. They're heavy. Um, so she just googled them these are rosewood so now she's getting them for half price and I'm excited for her to get those I'm so glad because I kind of wanted to but I'm like I don't know if I can make any money with those so yeah did you say rosewood right yeah. it's kind of crowded you guys but we're trying to film too hang on she's found a cute trivet and I think I'm trying to remember when stuff from Taiwan was popular she says it says Taiwan on the back yeah is that 50s 60s but this is awesome that's an awesome trivet half price too she's gonna get that Lori get these too. let me see she's gonna get those too were those do, is there anything on those Ty, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Taiwan too okay. yeah I would too yeah okay you guys are gonna be happy this is still here that I think some of you said is most likely brilliant so a little older and now it's half price so yes I'm gonna get that and there's not a price on that clock that acrylic clock but I'm a big fan of anything acrylic so we're gonna get that see how much well it depends on how much they charge this is a nice chunk of glass and it is signed um, I don't know if you can see it but it's signed there on the corner orifers now sometimes orifers can you know bring a good amount of money I'm not sure about this I mean it's quality and it's a nice chunk but it's not I don't know you know what I mean it's not super fancy or anything 
and I did go ahead and get these. They had put all three of them together and moved them outside in the entry in a cabinet, and luckily I spotted them. I don't know whose they are still, but since now, you know, half price, I don't think I'm going to find the fourth. But I'm probably going to get it. No guarantee, but I'm probably going to get those. Okay, we're going to move on. This is very funny. I got to get this. This is a light switch plate cover. See that? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> My husband may snag that, actually. What were you looking at in that little basket? Oh, I was just basket? looking at that little tea set. What did you say? It's a kid's? Yeah, it's a little children's tea set. Will you help me, please? Oh, yeah, it is. I've never tried that, but I see some other YouTuber friends do it successfully. Yeah. That's cute. Cute. Not on sale, nope. but it's cute. Okay, Lori scored. She offered it to me, but no way am I taking that. She's a seller too. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Let's see underneath it. We haven't peeled the tag off, but that is awesome. I would pay full price five dollars for that for sure. Hang on, let's peel the tag off and we'll see. Score. That's a Joe St. Clair. I buy their paperweights, but I usually keep keep them for myself. That's like a perfume bottle or something. Okay, that's the winner. I know it's not going to get any better than that here, at least not at this thrift store. Yay, Lori. But hey, it's okay. I got a consolation prize. <laughs> Look, <laughs> this dinosaur made out of wood. He's uh, articulated. I'm going to pay the full price, $5.99. That is so cute. Someone's going to adore that. Okay, so I found a winner too. <laughs> you guys, we're having a really good time chatting, so I'm sorry I keep forgetting to turn the camera on. Okay, so let me get caught up with some things I found. This Hallmark Snoopy letter holder, it is, um, I think it's 90s, I'm not sure, but definitely get that. And I'm not sure, but I'm going to take a chance on a few things. It says Alaskan Bush Pilot. It's from 1995. I think someone's going to want that. And I'm having fun with some glasses. These are Flintstones. 99 cents. They're from Hardee's. They say Hardee's on the other side. That fast food restaurant? I think, I think there's still some around. And... Didn't bother to look these up. I have no clue what Capone's is, dinner and show, but that's cute with the little cigarette girl. So even if they're just a modern thing, oh yeah, they are modern. Um, I still think someone's gonna find that kind of cute with the cigarette girl. Let's get those. Okay, sorry about that. I got you guys caught up, okay? And so now, she's still looking at mugs, and so now let me turn around. So now we're going to look at vases, okay? That's made in USA. I'm going to see whose that is. That's half price. And I like this little chalkboard sign. $1.99, that's cute. I want to get that for the booth. Lori's helping me. It says USA under there and something clay, it says USA but it's right got here. a tag too, so I am, I'll work with this at home. I'm going to get that. That's really nicely done and it's nice and heavy. It's only going to be $2.50. So Lori likes to do the jewelry blue boxes I and do. I'm on her butt right now to start a YouTube channel. She was thinking about it. I'm like, do you know how many people love to watch the jewelry? videos especially the blue box unboxing so you guys say go Lori go <laughs> hey I found that hidden behind the plates so we definitely have to get it she's in great shape she's adorable we're gonna do it okay we're back we just spent about 20 minutes talking to another local thrifter that recognized me and said hi she was so sweet what was her name again darn it i already forgot it me takes too, totally it takes me about three times i want to say hi was it jessica jessica 
Okay, hi Jessica and your daughter. I hope you made it down to New Horizons. Okay, first, that's still here. Y'all hollered at me. It is half price now, so yes. I turned around when I was switching aisles and saw this awesome. And luckily they didn't overprice it. $6.99, still new with tags. Victoria's Secret. Brand new. It is fabulous. Um, I don't know if that'll be for sale or not. Give me a couple days and y'all can try, but I'm not sure. If I don't keep it, I'm pretty sure one of the daughters is going to snag it. But y'all can ask and I'll let you know. Another thing. Okay, Lori stopped me. She said, that is not cabbage. That is an artichoke. <laughs> she said, Yvonne, do you see the top? That's an artichoke. I wanted to, it's made in Italy. I watch Selena, the vintage bombshell, um, and she's recently doing um, cabbage stuff. And she had a whole bunch gifted to her from a viewer, and I would like to add, but if that was cabbage, I think she would like that. But I guess I better leave it there. <laughs> All right, we are having a great time. We are meeting lots of people, chatting with them. So we're a little behind schedule to get down to New Horizons. Hopefully they'll still be putting stuff out though, you know. All right, you guys, we breezed through and got a couple more things. Let me show you before we head down to New Horizons, okay? So I hope you'll follow us down there. I'm gonna get this. This is vintage. It'll be half price. I'm gonna get that for the packaging. And, oops, don't put it in my purse. And this is um, Ole Cassini, you know, that designer put his name out for a lot of trinkets. Not real high end, but a little bit of lead crystal. They are just two little empty perfume bottles. But I opened it up and they're, you know, it's pretty good glass. So I'll pay the $6 because that'll just be like, what, $3 a piece. So I think I'll do that. And I found this fascinating. This is made in Italy. Let me open it up for you. There you go, made in Italy. I'll go ahead and pay the $6. It hasn't been used. It's just a little journal book with the embossed ladies on it. I think that's pretty. I think someone will like that. And this is, for me, this is fused glass with some diacroic pieces in it. Dichroic, not diacroic, dichroic. It'll be half price, and they have put it on a wooden turntable, a good turntable with the ball bearings. Absolutely love this. This is for me. So this piece, you guys have seen it before. It's been here for a long time. Cannot find the bottom. It is only going to be a dollar fifty now. Uh, is that crazy to buy that? I don't know. Never going to find the bottom, but it's cute. You could just set it so low. Let me pull up here. Okay, I better not do that. That's crazy. Lori, you want to say bye? Tell them we'll see them at New Horizons. See you down the road at New Horizons. <laughs> it's only going to take us about like less than 10 minutes, okay? But we got to pay and load up our cars. I'm going to grab a little snack that I have with me. So we will see you guys in about five seconds. All right, you guys. Bye bye for now. See you in a little bit. Hi, hi. We're here. All right. Let's get settled and get started. We'll Ready see you in a minute. Go. Okay, first peek in their case, of course. This is where they put the Miss Me and the Rock Revival. I know you guys are seeing reflection. But anyways, if you come here, be sure and check the case if you like the bling jeans. And I want to tell you something. So, hang on. So, that nice staff lady said, Excuse me, are you the one that does YouTube? And I said, well, yeah. You know, probably one of many. But anyways, I said, yeah. She goes, we had someone come in from New Mexico because they saw you spotlight our store. So wasn't that sweet? That was cool. This, that cool. happened, right? Thank you. <laughs> I'm letting Lori go first to have first dibs because she also still works full time. So, you know, she doesn't get to get out thrifting. I can go all the time. 49 cents. Um, so I'm letting her go first. I might get that. I know it's not real old or anything. But that's kind of cute with the hummingbird. You know, the prices here are really so um, 
affordable like crazy you guys know that that this is good stuff for my booth just to flip you know real cheaply and those low-end sales um, really add up to help pay my rent and then the bigger stuff you know makes me the money that's only 49 cents I might grab a couple frames okay I did grab she didn't want it she saw it first this pig bank wooden handmade wooden pig bank I'm gonna get that that's cute and I looked at this last time but kind of passed because you know I'm kind of a brat about baskets because I'm used to getting them from the bins but today it's half price dollar fifty and it has um, is that hibiscus flowers those those are ceramic little plates in there so let's get that okay I'm gonna look through the frames while she's getting first dibs okay let Lori have first dibs well we might have had too much fun at the ark and missed it here lots of empty spaces but we're not gonna give up yet so now I'm on a kick for the vintage pictures this one's not bad not the prettiest design, but I bet some of will like it. I think so. And I'm trying to make a decision on what this is. It has rubber stopper. It kind of has an older look to it, but I just can't really can't really decide. It's only gonna be 50 cents, so hello. A little apple server. not seeing anything we didn't see a couple days ago but hang on I did throw something in the cart apparently I'm on a wood kick today <laughs> so this will be half price I'll get this one that looks like teak maybe or bamboo this one does work that right there will swing over to to make it stand this one signed something in Pop New York. So for a dollar fifty and it's in great shape. Let's get that. Might be a little older. I know that's happening there. It won't shut all the way, but I think I'm still gonna get it and just work with it. I just really like it. And it's only a dollar. I'm gonna see if I can save that. Salvage that, okay? It's just still looking too, so. Let us see if we can find something to show you. Oh wait, that has an Odegari, Odegiri or Odegari vibe. $1.99? Let's flip it over. Hmm. That's not bad. I might get that too, you guys. I'm back. These I double checked them and I can't really, there's no wiggle room, but some of this brand, it says Pimpernel, England. Some things have a good resale value by that company, so I thought I'd better double check these Navajo weaving designs with their names, but it would be $8 for the set and I think it's only worth about $20. So I'm going to put those back. Um, Lori found some Indiana glass. We think it's Indiana glass. It's different from mine, so it just might be from a different time period. But this is the one that I chose to collect if I did want to have a matchy matchy set. I did get a set of these because they're relatively affordable to replace if someone breaks them. So you can let people use them. Um, these are 99 cents. Those are pretty. Hers just have more of a little carnival iridescent finish about an inch down on the inside. Let me set it up. And on the base. It's the great pattern. So that's what she's picked out so far. We're a little late here. It's been ransacked. <laughs> and I don't know if this is treasure craft or not. This is kind of cool this barrel ceramic barrel with the copper bands it's $3.99 there set it up it does say USA somewhere on here I'm gonna try to figure out whose that is that's kind of interesting unfortunately there's only one but let me check it out and I'll be right back 
okay y'all that is treasure craft you know george the antique nomad wrote the book on that and i thought i watched all his videos and i thought i heard him say sometimes it wasn't clearly marked treasure craft just usa it is resale value on it's about 20 bucks by itself and that's the only one they have so we're gonna let that stay there and move on hey i want to show you guys something if you haven't seen one of these now this is just a farberware my husband bought me one that's i think swiss so cool but you put it on your can it's an electric can opener but without the bulk you put it on there and you can walk, literally walk away like I'm holding it for you you just walk away it'll go around the can and then it will stop and lift itself up so <laughs> if you haven't seen one of these lots of people make them oh this one's only a dollar I'll get that for somebody so fun you just set it there and walk away go do something else come back in about 30 seconds your cans open and I added this little bottle. I don't know anything about it. It's just a cute peachy orange. It's only 49 cents. That's cute. I'm going to stick that in a booth. Someone's going to like that. Okay. We're just looking at this kind of stuff. Kitchenware. Kitchen knickknacks. And appliances are on this side. Okay. Well, I was getting a little sad. Bewitched book or book bewitched. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I found her, someone bought the chair, but she was chunked in there. And guess what? Now she's on sale. So I'm picking her up for you. There you go, sweetie. We're looking at Health and Beauty, because you know, this is where I found that $75 bottle of Paracone, Paracion. But yes, I ended up keeping for myself. We were just about done. Hang on, wait for it. When I turned around <laughs> and could not grab this fast enough. This is actually my second one. I have another one. So I might put that up for sale because <laughs> you don't run into these every day. Okay, you guys, we're done. I'm going to head on home because my daughter's there. So I hope you guys had a little bit of fun and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>